VTB Capital lent 225 million to Russell Grockrom, who we will refer to as RAP. RAP intended to use this money to purchase a number of Russian companies from Nutratech. RAP subsequently defaulted on the loan. VTB alleged that it was induced into entering into the loan agreement with RAP based on fraudulent misrepresentations made by Nutratech. VTB alleged that representations were made indicating that RAP and Nutratech were not under common control, whereas both companies were, in reality, controlled by a Mr. Malavi, a Russian entrepreneur. VTB commenced proceedings against Nutratech, Mr. Malaviv, and several other companies that were involved, alleging that they were liable for RAP's breach of contract. In order for this claim to succeed, however, the corporate personality of RAP would need to be pierced, and VTB argued that the veil should be pierced on the grounds that Mr. Malaviv and his associated companies were using RAP as a puppet company to orchestrate a fraud against VTB. VTB claimed that once the veil was pierced, the defendants would become party to the original loan agreement between VTB and RAP and so would be liable on it. The Supreme Court refused to pierce the corporate veil. Lord Neuberger stated that to find the defendants liable on the loan agreement would involve an extension of the circumstances in which the veil could be pierced. It would, in effect, result in Mr. Malaviv becoming a co-contracting party with RAP under the loan agreement. He refused to do this on the grounds that where B and C are the contracting parties and A is not, there is simply no justification for holding A responsible for B's contractual liabilities to C, simply because A controls B and has made misrepresentations about B, to induce C to enter into the contract. This could not be said to result in unfairness to C. The law provides redress for C against A in the form of a cause of action in negligent or fraudulent misrepresentation.